Hi there, Martin here. Um, thanks for tuning in. So this is some September vinyl finds. Um, probably back down to my usual faithful few of you that watch these videos. So um, those of you that I don't know, please comment if you, if, you, if you want to, I suppose. And then those of you that do, you probably make videos anyway. So I um, probably know you anyway. So yesterday, let's work my way backwards. I think yesterday I went to um, the outskirts of peripheral areas of uh, Oxford and um, we were doing some other shopping and stuff and there was a lot of charity shops where we were. Um, so I will start with this. Now, oh, a bit of a funky cover on the back there. Look at that. Very nice. Anyway, this is... Um, well, I played it. It, it, uh, it. I tried to find it uh, on Discogs. I could not find it. So as you can see, it's got some Arabic writing. So anybody that can translate that for me or, or that writing down there. So it appears to be... Um, instrumental music more akin to belly dancing I suppose it's a label it's uh, called uh, Sonos Cairo so it's okay it's not as exciting as I thought maybe it would be um, might have been nice if that would have had some uh, vocals on it but hey ho there you go one pound can't argue really, really with it you know and in the same place I found these uh, don't know if they had an outer cover with them or not, um, but looked interesting. Now, from 2019, there we go, there's one, and there's the other. And it's by a guy called uh, Matthew Hulsall, 2019, Gondwana Records. So it appears to be a reissue of a jazz kind of modern album from about... Um, 10 years ago, yeah, it's sort of like got a the outer sleeve on that label and then a, his name and everything. So it's okay. It's, um, yeah, I think it's a grower. I think it's a grower. And for a pound each, um, I'll get it back in. For a pound each, not bad, you know, not too bad at all. So, I did a couple of record fairs, let me see, and then um, last week, did I find any? No, I didn't, no, no, I haven't got it here, but I only bought one DVD, which was a Logan's Run DVD, and um, yeah, never mind. So I think record fairs for the summer pretty much stopped, you know, it's so much more fun doing them outside um, than in a hall, you know. I think people are still very um, COVID uh, careful regarding things like that. And also I think financially, obviously, uh, you know, there's not um, there's not so much money floating about, I suppose I would say. And then you've got all the other factors like Brexit and what else? And it's very noticeable when you do when you do them. Or wherever you go to you look for records, that some places have a lot more money than other places do. Um, maybe I'll leave it at that, otherwise, I might end up getting a bit political. But I've um, got some sevens here I got from a record fair I did in um, Ely. Well, now actually, this I found last week. I haven't played this yet, but it just grabbed me because it had a couple of those, those on the cover big horns. What are they called? Flugelhorn? No. I can't remember what they're called, aren't they? But you'd expect some yodeling as well on there, wouldn't you, really? This, I think, is uh, Swiss, yeah. Freddy's Swish, Swish, Swiss. Might she? I don't know what that means. I've no idea. But I've not, as I say, I've not played it yet anyway. Um, I've met a seller at one of these record fairs and um, I was having such a miserable time at it. I thought I'd buy some seven inches just to cheer myself up. Um, so what have we got? We've got uh, Walter Cronkite, Man of Man on the Moon, not the REM single. So this is um, has a, has a you know live moon landing thing, one small step kind of thing, and 
John F. Kennedy on it as well. And then we've got um, uh, from a sort of like a Billy Graham, I think, funded um, film. A worldwide, worldwide Pictures Presents for Pete's sake. Um, there you go. Quite a lot of little tracks on there and whatnot. Uh, P A K T, Pact. Some uh, Polish hipsters of the 60s there. Uh, four track EP. Quite nice. Now, this was, uh, this cost me three pounds. This is. Uh, it's from Boston. So hello to Rob from Boston, who I know always watches my video videos. Um, Marino Pershini. So it's even got like a Italian background, I guess, sort of guy. So this is, it says it's a hurdy-gurdy. This is, to me, is more like a musical um, uh, mechanical machine. So this is a guy from the 60s that obviously used to do, uh, play in the streets and stuff, uh, stuff. Um, for almost half a century, and his flower-bedecked, carefully varnished machine have greeted the refreshing return of springtime to Beantown. Eight months of the year, weather permitting, this colourful character may be found at some, some corner in the, in the busy Back Bay district. A beaming, full-toothed, pixie-like smile lighting his weather-beaten features. And it adds that the machine is 75 years old. And uh, his youthful vigour is 81. So in, in, in England, hurdy-gurdy is more a um, stringed instrument with a handle on it, sort of maybe um, bigger than a violin-sized uh, thing that you turn the handle on and it sort of makes this uh, noise. So maybe in America, hurdy-gurdy means something else, I'm not sure. So it's so quite funny, actually, there's a couple of cards in there. He's got his own uh, business card in there and everything and um, some sort of uh, invitation to a, to a uh, I suppose I should show you really, shouldn't I? But yeah, hang on. an invitation to a, uh, hmm, a, a French soiree for um, um, celebrating in... Um, Pour celebrer la triomphe de liberté, égalité. Yeah, uh, look. <laughs> I was curious, and I actually looked up the places in Boston where they were. <laughs> and then, um, also in here, yeah, my card. There we go, look at that. And then on the back, some writing I can't really read very well. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it, what sometimes people put in records and... Um, you know, so that's Mario. Sorry, Marino. Uh, I bought a new album here. So I've always been into Moby, but I've never really been able to find much of his stuff on records. Um, somehow I think this came on my YouTube stream. It's on Deutsche Grammophon. There you go, look at that. So it's a double album reprise. So it's obviously like um, different versions of Moby songs. Uh, about half a dozen or a bit more are collaborations with um, different people. Some I've heard of, some I haven't. Yeah. It's pretty... It's like Moby. It's pretty like... Um, how would you describe Moby? He's got a lot of soul, hasn't he? For a white Anglo-Saxon looking guy. I never realised as well that AL on his hands, rather than left and right, is animal rights. Yeah, and he's, uh, and he's got tattooed down his arms. Anyway, this is a great album. 2021 on Deutsche Grammophon. Check it out on YouTube or... Um, yeah, because I don't have so much of uh, his. But it's sort of one of these artists as well. He's done dance, punk, rock, sample. You know, he's done the whole lot, hasn't he, really? So he's, he's pretty um, adaptable, really. Sorry, my eyebrows look a bit crazy. Anyway, um, a few more finds here and then I'll wind it up. Far too long already. Uh, we've got John and Vangelis. A Vangelis album I've never had. Um, I'm sure I'll know a couple of the tracks on there. I think I've got so many Vangelis albums. Always cost a pound, which is great. <laughs> Something from my youth here. 
<laughs> oh dear. Debbie Gibson. Looking lovely there with a the hole in her jeans. She's still around, Debbie Gibson. Um, yeah, and she looks still pretty good, to be honest. Um, this is her debut album. She was probably way too young at the time, although I was young then. Yeah, there she is in the, in the 80s with a big hair. Um, four or five hits, I think, in the UK she had. Um, yeah, a few sax breaks on there. Foolish Beat was a ballad, wasn't it? It had a sax a saxophone on it. And um, I think Only In My Dreams had a out of control saxophone uh, break rather than a guitar solo. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the polar bear on the cover there. <laughs> um I think I found a lot of records like last month all over the place. Um, I think they went in f to, to my for sale bins. Here's a 12 inch on MCA Dancing in Outer Space Part 1, Part 2 Atmosphere. <clears throat> Someone else I've got a lot of albums of here, a bit like Vangelis. Uh, I think maybe just the first track's interesting. It's uh, my coal field, five miles high, uh, and uh, nice cover. You can see all the see all the tracks and all the different instruments that are used on it here. Yeah, Taurus Two is on um, side one, and then you've also got Maggie Riley. Obviously, did the Moonlight Shadow um, vocals. She's on some of this as well here. I think this is sort of. Before Mike got a bit lost in the technology of the uh, 80s. Oh, this is 82. So, yeah. A few more. And then that's it from me. Um, I think I used to have this album. Not a very pleasant cover. This is Soul Direction. This is on a CBS subsidiary, I think, isn't it? It's, um, yeah. Not exactly Northern Soul, but loads of American stuff on there. It's Lion of Family Stone... The Times, um, what else is on there? Peaches and Herb, Taj Mahal, Inez and Charlie Fox. Yeah, a, a, a raking soul band, Knock on Wood version as well. The debut album by Boney M. I've not seen this one around so much. It's got Daddy Cool on it and Sunny. No Woman, No Cry. I think our cat's had a bit of a go there at it. Yeah. So I've got three huge piles in the spare room of records. All trouble with my piles. Um, the greatest £1 find I think I've found in a while. This is uh, two Unlimited, No Limits. Tons of hits on here. Of course, No Limit being the most famous. My favourite is Let the Beat Control Your Body. And this is from um, 1993. God, a lifetime ago there. Look at that. Lovely Anita there, and the lovely Ray, all the way from Holland. And lastly, I need to take this card out because it's got somebody's um, phone number on it about doing a record fair in Moseley, Kings Heath in Birmingham, which I didn't get back to them um, about, so I'll take that out. He bought some, or swapped some, no, he bought some Afe Afex Twin 12s I had, um, and I ended up with this. So partly the Freddie Mercury Zanzibar link interests me because it's an island off the uh, east coast of Tanzania, Africa. And just some of the tracks look quite interesting. So for five quid, well, that'd be interesting. So that's it. Finishing up 15 minutes, a little bit too long there. But um, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, catch you all in your videos. Bye.